Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're continuing our transformative journey to love, day four of love yoga and today we are doing yoga for letting go of resistance because oftentimes when we're called or when there is a task that is given to us or coming from the outside from events in our life or from someone appearing in our life and calling us to get on a journey, do something, um, transform in some way, oftentimes our first response is no. We resist the calling. Sometimes the calling is within. We have the need to write a book, to start a new job, new career, to maybe start a family or remove ourselves from something. And oftentimes when we feel that within that we should do it, we think and we deny ourselves that because we think who am I to do this or why would I be the one to write a book or to do this so our first response oftentimes is resistance today we're going to do yoga for letting go of resistance and even acceptance so let's flow with strength in Roll the shoulders back and down, standing tall, chin parallel to the floor, lengthening through the crown of the head. Nice deep inhalations and closing the eyes for the moment, just so that you can feel your body. Tune in and begin to feel the body. Pay attention. Scan your body, starting from the feet, moving into the shin bones, the calves, the knees, the thighs, back of the leg, hips, pelvis, belly, lower back, rib cage, heart, back, upper back, throat, shoulders, arms and hands and fingers and fingertips, feeling the energy in the fingertips feeling the energy in your hands and scanning without making anything out of it just scanning your body giving it attention giving it love because attention caring is love so just just tuning in and observing witnessing your own body now to the throat back of the neck skull face and soften the jaw soften your cheeks soften your eyelids soften the facial expression forehead crown of the head lifting through the crown of the head and feel your feet sinking in your mat so there is this pull up and allowance down, standing tall, which yoga always allows you to get deeper into. We decompress in a lot of the inverted poses, the spine lengthens a little bit and it allows us to stand tall, stand taller. Nice deep inhalations. Exhaling and allowing the feet to drop in further. Inhale and feel an opening in the chest area. Exhale, the feet are dropping further down. Inhale and smile. Corners of the lips are smiling just gently, even unnoticeably, just a tiny smile that we're going to cultivate and take into our day. Mm -hmm. because we don't leave the yoga practice on the mat we take it in our day we do yoga so that we take something from the practice into our day mm -hmm. 
and let's inhale the arms out spread over open the fingers and really feel the energy in your hands you can blink your eyes open feel the energy in the hands really bring that energy into the hands hands are reaching away from each other and step a little wider and we're going to twist over to the right the hips will follow this move and look over your right hand and back to center twist over to the left hips are following shoulders gaze and back to center and this time keep your feet hip width apart and the toes pointing directly forward steady the hips extend the tailbone just ever so slightly down pull the belly in and we're going to just move the upper body as far as we can don't push it don't force it just allow here back to center and twist over to the other side you see the difference one is we twist the entire body in this is hips are standing forward and we're using the power of the spine and the obliques to just bring a little movement into the body body awareness feeling the different aspects of movement becoming more aware of your body back to center let's inhale the hands over the head bend the knees and exhale forward folding let's wrap the hands around the wrists around the elbows hanging here allow your upper body to hang and your head to be heavy so your neck is not supporting the head you're hanging feel your spine decompressing pull the belly in hollow the belly if you can and you see how this allows you to decompress the spine a little more to lengthen a little more and release the hands down on the floor slowly like a rag doll come up to standing feel each and every vertebra coming up to standing tall inhale sweeping over the head exhale hands over the third eye hands over the heart big breath in exhale down hands over the third eye hands over the heart one more big breath in hands over the third eye hold pause hands over the heart sealing in the intention for today's practice we're going to flow with strength and ease we'll learn to let go of resistance when needed and to accept things as they are or to accept challenges with gratitude as they come to us the challenging and the the challenging event and the blessings both all right bend the knees chair strong believe in your strength inhale over the head exhale folding inhale hands on the shin bones or on the legs straight back flat back pull the belly in halfway up lengthen through the crown of the head hands on the floor spread the fingers wide open plank and get excited for plank pull the belly in press the heels away from you lower down knees on the ground chest on the ground elbows in cobra so please don't straighten all the way here which is a common mistake keep your elbows bent and really engage your lower back here so that you know that your lower back is actually working and strengthening here hold lengthen the back of the neck great exhale down dog (sighs) 
So here, make sure that your hands are shoulder width apart and the feet are hip width apart. Yes, hip width apart. And you can bend the knees and straighten the tailbone. Straighten the back a little more. Inhale the right leg up, look between your hands and come into plank and bring your knee between your elbows and press it all the way back. That's one knee tuck and let's go one more time. Plank knee tuck all the way back, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale inhale and exhale great press the back heel away from you step the right foot between your hands bring it between your hands and come up high lunge strong believing in your strength feeling the strength of your body Let's bring the left hand down on the floor, right arm up, press the back heel straight up and twist here, soften the belly, twist deeper. As you exhale, go a little deeper in this pose. Beautiful. Hands down, step it back, plank, pull the belly in, knees on the ground, cobra. Exhale, down dog. If you need to keep the knees bent so that you can straighten the back, do so. Bring the inner elbows to face each other so that your shoulders are away from the ears instead of being something like this. We're going to relax the shoulders away from the ears and spin the inner elbows inward so that there is a lot of space around the shoulders. Tailbone lifting as high as you can. This engages Udiana Banda, one of the locks in yoga. which allows us to tap into our inner strength. So pull the belly in and up, the navel presses in towards the spine. Inhale the left leg up, look between your hands and come into one legged plank, knee tuck. You can do it, stay strong, inhale back, exhale. Inhale back, exhale. Inhale back, four. Inhale back, five. Pull it in, strong, strong, strong. Pull the belly in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. All right, step the left foot or bring the left foot between the hands, however you get here. Press the back heel away from you. Pull the belly in, straight back. Come up. High lunge and feel the strength of this pose and Ease into it. Strong poses are best done with the mental attitude of grace and ease. Breathe. And we're going to bring the right hand down on the floor. Press the back heel up. And take the left arm up. Feel how this brings a very nice deep twist along the spine. Let it happen. This is where you can exercise physically, letting go of resistance. Because when you exhale and soften the belly, 
you go deeper in the pose but when you force it you can go as deep so let go soften exhale soften the belly and feel how this allows you to go just a tad deeper here exhale soften just a little deeper exhale soften just a little deeper both hands down on the floor step it back plank strong core pull the belly in really pull it in the body is one strong line great knees on the ground and we're gonna go for cobra inhale lift lengthen exhale child's pose you can open the knees and bring your hands palms facing up by your heels let your shoulders drop and come back to that inner smile corners of the lips are smiling Inhale the hands over the head and come up on all fours. And we're going to take the right leg off the floor, level your hips with the floor, flex your right foot and bring all five toes down. So you're going to spin the foot down, pull the belly in, total control of your core, take the left arm forward. So now try, try to level the chest and the hips with the floor, which requires balancing and core strength. And we're going to bring the knee to the elbow one and really extend the hand reaches away from the heel. Two, pull the belly in, squeeze. Three. four and five exhale inhale and rest it back down and let's take the left leg up right arm forward pull the belly in and feel your own strength mind body connection exhale elbow to knee inhale reach exhale elbow to knee inhale reach exhale inhale reach exhale down inhale reach exhale down inhale reach release and let's take the right hand palm facing up underneath the left shoulder glide it all the way out and lower the back of the shoulder down on the floor back of the head if you can down on the floor again letting go of resistance here allowing yourself to give in to gravity and allow gravity to do the work for you so letting go of the tension in the body the way you hold your body exhale and soften the shoulder allow it to melt into the floor exhale soften Inhale, 
channel coming up and exhale opposite side softening with each exhalation letting go of tension in the body Press your right hand down so that you can lift yourself up and let's sit down on the ground on the floor extend your legs in front of you and here we're going to roll the shoulders back and down flex the feet and pull the toes back towards you hints by the hips and you're going to have a little bit of an external rotation of the shoulder here so the shoulders are rotating shoulder blades are flattening they're not sticking out and pressing in towards each other and the heart is open chest is open lengthening through the crown of the head Pressing the collarbones away from each other. Feel the work here. It seems like a very easy pose, but it's one of the intricate, complex poses in yoga. And just close your eyes for a moment and again, give your body attention. Feel how your body feels. See, observe how your body feels. We're going to begin to lower down forward. So keep the back straight, grab onto your legs and stay, stay in the place where you don't need to round your back. So that might be a little higher than you thought previously you could bend forward too, but that's fine. Acceptance of where we're at, observing and honoring the body. There's no competition here. You're not even competing with yourself. You're honoring and getting to know yourself better. Allowing light, love in, letting go of the muggy emotions, the muggy thoughts. All right, from here, come back up. Take a nice deep breath in. Mm, exhaling, and we're going to bend the left leg and bring the right hand around. Hug your thigh in towards your rib cage. Walk your left hand behind. Keep your spine really straight. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Chest open and twist look behind you now with this twist you're going to feel again that the more you let go of resistance the deeper you will go so you will exhale and soften the belly and go a little deeper it just the body will allow you inhale big lengthen exhale soften 
inhale lengthen exhale go a little deeper inhale lengthen exhale a little deeper and before coming out of this exhale completely inhale to the front and change sides flex the extended side extended leg foot lengthen and hug your leg in look behind you exhale completely inhale to the front and let's bring the soles of the feet together now you can sit on blankets or on a block here if this feels uncomfortable you can lift up your body a little off the floor and grab your legs grab your feet allow your knees to open to the sides and as you exhale let go again of resistance so we're not forcing a stretch we're allowing the body to let go of the tension and resistance straighten the back inhale coming up and we're going to bring the right knee forward back and around left leg behind now when you come here you're going to see if your hips are equal distance from the floor what you what you don't want to do is something like this leaning on to the right and lifting the left hip far from the floor you want to level the hips here like so so you're going to lower the left hip down and internally rotate the hip down and also you might want to bring the right hip back and left hip forward so close your eyes and just move a little bit here and feel your body feel your hips tune in so you have an actual feeling of your body parts in space you know where your tailbone is where your hips are you feel it you don't need someone to tell you from outside you can kind of begin to feel it if you're not used to tuning in where your hips are in space now you can begin to learn to just feel the body cultivating body awareness pull the belly in lengthen the rib cage up and if you need to adjust here if it's really difficult to keep your hips equal distance from the floor you're gonna roll onto the top of the shin bone and stay a little higher you can even put a block underneath your body here so that you have a little bit of support otherwise right hip down on the floor hips level rib cage lifted and either stay up or lower down a little bit whatever your body needs
focus on the exhalations and exhale through the hip here. Most of us would feel resistance in the hip, tension. Holding on. So as you exhale, soften the hip, even exhale through the hip, close your eyes and imagine water swishing out of the hip, dirty water. Rinsing the hip visually with crisp crystal water. And as you exhale, dirty water coming out, muddy water. So using, using visualization to deep in your yoga practice because the mind is powerful. Inhale, coming up and open the chest. Now to come out of this pose, press your hands down in down dog alignment. Tuck your toes under and go straight back to one legged down dog and just circle that knee up until it feels good, up until all the tension lifts. Even, you may even hear a little click. Opposite side, left leg forward, and it's okay if one of your sides is a little more open than the other. Level the hips, square the hips, lift the rib cage up, away from the hips, keep that length and lower down. And breathe, softening with the breath. When you soften the breath, relax the breath, you communicate to your body to relax, there is no danger, you can stretch, you can deepen the stretch because you're not holding yourself tight. You're letting go of resistance in the body and you can do that with intention by softening the breath. Focus on your exhalations and soften each and every exhalation a little more than the previous one. And let's begin to walk back up, open the chest, lift, tuck the tailbone under here so that you're feeling that stretch in the hip flexor. Tuck your toes under and take your time, go back to one-legged dog and just draw a few circles with your left knee up until 
<laughs> the feeling comes back and you feel freedom in the hips. All right, let's walk the feet to the front. Exhale, folding. Forward bend and step your feet about hip width apart. Bend the knees just slightly and let your head hang heavy. So the head is hanging heavy. Inner smile. Corners of the lips are smiling. And let's bend the knees slightly and roll up like a rag doll all the way up to standing. One vertebra at a time. Standing tall. Inhale the hands with a sweeping motion all the way over the head. Exhale over the third eye. For always having the vision, the inner vision. Over the heart. To always be guided by your heart. Close your eyes and just again tune in. Take a moment to observe the body. How do you feel? How does your body feel? Scan it. Starting from the toes all the way to the top of the head. And one more time, inhale your hands all the way over the head. Exhale over the heart and let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness, compassion and love. Namaste. And you can blink your eyes open. Thank you so much for joining me today on this beautiful day. Let me know how you like this class. Make sure to share it with your friends and relatives that can join you on this journey. And remember, subscribe in order to support this channel and to keep getting the notifications for the classes because tomorrow <laughs> is day five. And thank you again. Namaste. Remember to flow with strength and ease.